Hey guys. Hey chosen generation. Hey beautiful people of God. It's your girl Nay. And yeah, today I wanted to come on real quick and talk about um what I felt in my spirit, which is loneliness. Um I was going to talk about something else real quick, but matter of fact, I had two other things I was going to talk about. But as I um, began to talk to the Lord about it, and I said, Lord, what is it that you really want me to say? Because it was like he was going, I, I felt like back and forth. And I heard the Spirit say, loneliness. And he said, a lot of people, the body of Christ, are experiencing loneliness. Um, and he said a lot of people are experiencing, experiencing loneliness, even in their marriage, um, like really, really deep loneliness. And, um, I thought about when I was married, I've been married twice and it brought me back to when me and my first husband were married. And a lot of times I can remember that was some of the darkest, darkest times in my life. I got married when I was 18 years old. And um, I didn't know him very long. I knew him for about maybe like a year and a half before I married him. And um, I remember being very, very lonely. And I'm sorry if the camera's moving, guys. Um, I'm holding it. I remember being very, very lonely, and I remember um, just trying to um, deal with the loneliness. Now, in the beginning, it was almost like we had an up and down relationship for the first second. Well, I said the first year was kind of good, and then after that, everything else went downhill. You know, I can't really even tell you how many years I was married to him for 18 years. And I can't tell you out of the 18 years, how many years I was actually married, I mean, happy, quote unquote. I cannot tell you how many years I was happy um, because it was always something, arguments, disagreements, um, just not getting along, uh, you know, um, but it was sometimes in that relationship where I felt so very, very lonely, you know times where um this this court this dysfunction you know um and so the holy spirit was letting me know that a lot of people in their marriages um as well as relationships are experiencing being lonely right now and um it's to the point where some people are so depressed from being lonely that they don't know what to do and where to turn you know they know about prayer, they know about God, but they still feel like even when they pray, they still feel like there's no hope. They don't know where to turn. And I know that even when I was married, um, the second time I experienced loneliness again. Um, and that marriage was for about eight years. So I experienced loneliness um, I think I was with, the, I was with him longer than eight years, but we were married for eight years. But when we were married, a lot of things changed. And that's when I began to feel a lot of the loneliness, um, to the point where you're not even in the same room together no more. You're just married, coming home, almost like a routine. Um, and you're basically almost like roommates. And so, as I was getting ready to, getting ready for work, the Holy Spirit told me to come on and talk about people that are dealing with loneliness and that um, there is hope. The Bible lets us know that there is hope in loneliness. And I was reading a scripture um, in Corinthians, about 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4. You want to write that down. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4, about our God, he, how he comforts. He's a comforter. You know, um, not only is he a comforter, but he will um, allow, which is the Holy Spirit, to comfort you through the process as well as direct you um, how to unweave yourself out of that situation if it needs to be. You know, um, 
Some people say, well, you need to go to counseling. Um, and some people do need to go, go to counseling. Sometimes people go to counseling and that's still not good enough. It's just um, a thing where people fall out of love sometimes with each other. And um, they try to hang on as much as they can, especially if there's kids involved. Um, and um, so it's best to just do whatever you feel the Holy Spirit is giving you to do, to do it. Um, and just pray and ask God. He will direct you. He will direct you what to do. Um, also, let me see. Psalms 25, 14 through 18 talks about loneliness. Um, you might want to write that down too. Psalms 25, 14 and 18. And it talks about loneliness and how God um, covers that loneliness. for you know Protects us from the loneliness. And allows us to heal. He will heal you from the loneliness. If you allow him to heal you. Um, but you have, we have to pray. And ask God to help us. Because loneliness is one of those things where. You know. You don't get married and think. Well maybe I'm going to be lonely. Or maybe this is not going to work. Or yada yada yada. You don't think that in your mind when you get married. You just figure. I'm getting married. I love this man. I love this woman. And um, a lot of times. Seriously. When we do marry. And right now I'm, I'm single, you know, and I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm enjoying being single by myself, me and the Lord. But a lot of times when people get married, um, it, it's just um, one of those things where the husband, you know, the husband, he really, he loves you. But I feel like sometimes, a lot of times I remember... Uh, talking to a few men about how how men feel when they say I love you or I'm in love you. Sometimes men are not in love with the person, with, the, with whoever they marry. They love them, but they're not in love with them. And I think a lot of times we as women, we automatically think if someone says, will you marry me, that they're in love with you. And a lot of times they're not even in love with you. They they love you to a certain point is what I was told, but they don't. they're not in love with you. You know, where they'll just go crazy if they're not with you or lose your life, lose their life for you. They're not in love with you like that. A lot of men will tell you. Um, and I just think that a lot of times women, we think that it's, it's a different way. We think that they're because we're more emotional and men are not emotional like we are. We're very, very emotional um, and men are not emotional like that, like we are. But anyway, what God is saying to the church he's saying to you uh the body of christ is that he is the healer you know if you're experiencing loneliness if you're experiencing and i'm sorry the phone is shaking please forgive me if you're experiencing loneliness if you're experiencing um just don't know which way to turn and you're just tired of dealing with the same thing day in and day out meditate on that word that i just gave you and um pray ask god to help you. Ask God to direct you. And he's going to begin to tell you what to do and how to handle the situation with that loneliness. Because you should not have to live your life in loneliness. You know, every day you come home, you're lonely. You know, you go to your room, you go do you you go to work the next day, you're sleeping in separate bedrooms, you know. Um, you barely talk unless you're talking about bills. You're barely talking unless you're having sex. Other than that, after you have sex and after you talk about bills or whatever, or after the person eats their food, after that, no no conversation, really. You're lonely, you know. And what happens a lot of times, it affects the children because the children are in the home and they're lonely because they see they don't have a relationship with their fa father. They don't have a relationship with their mother as much. The mother is probably more so doing everything. The father, a lot of times, is not there or he's he may be there, but he's not present with the kids or present doing things with the kids. The mother's doing everything, you know, so the child has to suffer and grow up, you know, wishing that they had a relationship with their father or a better relationship with their father and a better relationship possibly with their mother. But loneliness is one of those things where it can creep in and you don't expect it. It's unexpected. But God is saying that he's a healer. He will heal that situation he can turn it around, but at the same time, he can direct you also if it's not suitable for you to stay in that relationship. 
God will work it out in that way as well. Let us pray. Father, I pray for those that are going through in their homes and their marriages with loneliness, those that are suffering from loneliness and, you know, they don't know how to handle the situation in their marriages and their relationships and they just feel like they're in despair. I ask that you will send your comforter, God, which is the Holy Spirit, that you will allow him to minister to them, that you will give them direction concerning this situation and how to fix it and how to work it out. God, I ask you to let them know that you are with them, that you are their comforter, that you are their strength. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for comforting them and letting them know that you are with them, God. In Jesus' name, there's nothing too hard for you. There's nothing too hard for you, God. And we thank you and praise you for doing it right now. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. And I will talk to you real soon. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you.